Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some cards that you may want to pick up and they are incredibly cheap. I will start off with this one. It is a Judge promo. Yes, this card has been reprinted into the ground and the artwork is not unique to the Judge promo, but nonetheless, it is a very, very good card. Uh, Cascade is a strong ability. Uh, it's a little weakened now given how they are changing some stuff like the what is the fusion thing and dragons of well, not dragons of Tark here, dragon maze wow dragon maze that was a really awful set yeah now you can't you can't piggyback off that one you can't play the more expensive spell if the cheaper spell is less than the cascade ability but I'm pretty sure that something in the future will come up and make this card better. Shardless Bug was one of the strongest decks in Legacy. It has since taken a major hit. But a powerful effect will always be a powerful effect, even if it is not powerful today. So the meta may not be good for this card, but Cascade, let me tell you Cascade is one of the strongest abilities and to have cascade on a creature i wouldn't mind having a few hundred copies of the common and uncommon cascade cards they just make so much fun in edh what i can see happening is perhaps we have a deck or a mechanic in a commander deck in the future which makes cascade overly powerful and incredibly strong and that's where it goes then all these cards cards will spike I also think it's interesting to own a Judge promo for about $10. I don't see that going terribly for you in the future. All right. Restoration Angel. We all know this one is in Iconic Masters. Or what was it in? I think it was in... No, it was in Modern Masters, I believe. Because it had Frag Tusk was in Modern Masters. But anyway, it was recently printed in a Masters. And its price has plummeted it was also the launch party and release event promo meaning that everyone got one so they were handing out ten dollar bills at that time uh ten dollar bills to everyone here's your ten dollar bill here's your ten dollar bill here's your ten dollar bill uh this was definitely a launch party worth going to where more most launch parties now give you colossal whale well, instead of Colossal Whale, you had one of the strongest cards in Standard with Frag Tusk being in Standard with the card. So everyone knew it was a great card. But uh, there is an opportunity to pick up foils of her for very cheap. I think it's going to continue to go down to $4 once the supply kind of levels up of the reprint. Why I like it is the same reason I like all kind of angels and good angels nonetheless. They will always have value they always will be liquid so there's two things you look at you look at how much is the card actually worth how much it, is it going to be on a buy list etc but you also i also look at how liquid it is so for casual players one of the things is crazy they will open a really good card and you can't get that card from them because you don't have anything they want they don't want that standard crap right they don't want any of that they want angels dragons and demons so if you wanted to do a trade binder, I would have a lot of this type of stuff in it where it's low to medium value where you can entice a player, a more casual player with $20 of things that they would love, they would spend money on, they don't know exist, and now they do. All right, so my big home run hitter is Kalia. Kalia Vast. I'm pretty sure this is a foil version of her, Commander's Anthology. Kalia will always be a great commander. I don't think that much a lot. So the numbers of commander anthology are kind of confusing. There's two numbers that you have to be aware of. How, how big is the print run, which I'm hearing is very big, and how many people are opening the product. So that's the key here is I don't think many people are opening the product. So there's not many of these out in the wild. And now maybe if the price were to go up, then people would open the product more. I take Conspiracy 1 before Leovolt got banned. Uh, Leovolt was banned in Commander. And actually, I was watching Tolarian's video on Leovolt. I was like, wow, oh, this is, I really want to make it. And then they banned it like a week later. So unfortunately, that happened. Leovolt as a Commander was very good. But even before he was banned, which I don't think is going to happen in Kalia, obviously, 
that would be really bad. But Leo Vault was a $50 card in a set that sold boxes for $75 to $80. That is some really incredible numbers if you think about it. And I think Kaleo will have similar numbers. I don't think people are going to open Commander's Anthology. Uh, if they have it, I think they're going to sit on it and hope it goes up in price. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But there's not that many copies of this card out in the wild. So, yeah. I mean, we'll see. Uh, I think its price is very, very affordable at $22. And for what she is, and she's an angel, a demon, and help dragons, like, mm, I don't know. I mean, angels, demons, dragons, I cannot imagine a casual player wanting more in a card than this one. So I think her price will go up. I, I just cannot imagine it hitting below $20. Anyway, that is it. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.